Hey guys, it's Dag, and I'm with the Pixel Erasure team, and we are here to play some World of Warcraft uh, Cataclysm. I had to think about that for a second, because I've been playing World of Warcraft everything else all week. <laughs> so, um, Corey and I were just chatting that it's like he's got one of every class at, at level 70 now, and uh, I don't know whether he's geared him up through the Echoes and stuff, but yeah. Oh no, that, hey. that's this week. <laughs> oh, you're going to do that this week. Hey, yeah. Scrappy, what's up, dude? Uh, Scrap says hi. Um, so anyway, we're we're here and we're going to be, let's see, we're all like mid to upper 40s, I think, is what our levels are. And so we're going to be uh, doing some, uh, uh, some more dungeons tonight and see if we could uh, finish a couple of them like we did last time. So we'll have to see how it goes. Um, tonight's holiday is uh fajita day and i thought this was funny because i looked up what the holiday was um and this is just for you scrap okay um i looked up the holiday just to check to see uh what it was just before i logged in and guess what i had for dinner tonight i ate fajitas <laughs> so <laughs> national fajita day go pour some chicken or beef and some onions and some good sauce and some peppers and make it spicy and throw it on a tortilla and have yourself some dinner. So, yeah, that was good. Where are we going? What are we doing? Wherever the randomness takes us. Rando! You're getting a shave and a haircut. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Corey had to go get his haircut. I thought, thought, thought I could do that while we were waiting. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got. Ah, ah we're looks here. like Strat again. Strat okay. Oh. Can I have funny. some mana brownies? Yeah, hold on a sec. I will mana brownie you up. Anyone who wants mana brownies. Uh, yeah, I can use some. I imagine it's pretty much everyone. Yeah. Pretty um, much these. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to make a minty fresh health stone for our healer. And uh, let's see. What I make? One, two, three, four. One more for me. Not that I don't have a bajillion different potions now. Do, 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 do. Where's the health stone? There it is. Thank Adding some stuff to my oh, thank you. Much appreciated. I need to Moving get right along. Oh, do, 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 I guess I'll uh, create the hellstone before I try to trade it. it that usually I mean, why? Me. Why do it in that order? I have it. Oh, that's my brownies. Thank you. Yeah, I took care of you. I'm just trying to see if give anyone else. Oh, I you already gave one to me. You gave me a stack already, Curtis. Oh, well, you moved. Stop moving. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do something <laughs> similar. Stop breathing. <laughs> it's annoying. I was just going. I was going up the line. Yeah, I know. Jumped. Thank you, Jumped. sir. Yeah. I was going to make some juicy bear burgers and stuff for everybody. For tonight and I forgot. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Juicy Bear Burgers. Okay. So that's giving me, I imagine, health stone. I should trade. There you go. It didn't want to go. <laughs> didn't want to trade it. All right, I is ready. <laughs> of course they can walk through it. Why not? A lot of shit right there. Well, yeah, they're kind of skinny that way. I 
I'm going to be running my first ever D and D game. Oh, you're gonna run it yourself? Yep. I mean, cool. I've run a lot of other games over the years, just never D and D. Gonna run Humblewood. Humblewood. Yeah, it's exciting. Chickens. Yeah, my character is Johann Sebastian Bach. It's a chicken. Okay. <laughs> we need uh, people to complete quests here. Or did nope. we do that? Okay. I got all mine done. Yeah. Wait a same. second. I gotta find out. There it is. I was wondering where my shackle undead thing was because I was using it last time. So, let me know if you need something shackled after we get through this mess. Okay. Right. I've been listening to the Humblewood music all day. They made up some music that people can ha run in their campaigns. And when you buy it, they give you the license to stream with it. So oh, that's, that's nice. nice. And it's only fourteen ninety five for their whole Well, they're album. hoping that you'll do it because it's advertising. Yeah, well, I won't be doing any streaming, but I will, I will buy their music eventually. Scrap went to a... Um... Renfair, I think he said. It ran off my screen already, but uh, uh, he said he enjoyed himself and got some fun stuff. Renfairs are fun. Yeah. Ours is, ours is in one of the hottest places in the state in the summer, which is why I don't usually go these days. It's always crazy freaking hot up there. And really, really the first crowded. It was the first one he'd been to, also. So. Nice. Oh. Cool. Well, I used to go all the time when I was a youthful person. When I was yeah. a ute. A ute? A ute. When I was a ute. Back with the youths. Back when I didn't notice that the sun was frying me to a crisp. Oh, yeah. That happens. I got this. I know myself here. now. These days, I've got, you know, I've got the fibro, and I'm old, so I know it would just be a disaster. I'd just be ups I'd be miserable the whole day, and I would be, and I'd have to sleep for a week, and it would suck. So I don't go. No gold for me. The living is oh, here. What a mess. There's a guy right there. <laughs> I need to yeah. And he is gone. And spider. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Boots. I need a target. I have a precious little baby jumping spider in my room somewhere. Keep seeing it off and on. It'll pop up like, hello. Getting a little, I haven't seen it for a couple of days, so. Either it's dead or it's molting. I don't know which, but. I'm Tee. molting, I'm Tee. molting. I got a picture of him on my screen, him or her. It's so little, I can't even tell what gender they are, but. You can't lift up like, the skirt? Like, it's so tiny, it's. It's no, because it doesn't wear skirts. It's a spider. It's non spider. It, it prefers pants. Eight legged pants. Mm hmm. They're pants that are built into their body. It's called an exoskeleton. You can pants if you want to. You can leave your pants behind. No, please but I don't. Got a picture. I got a picture of it on my computer screen when I was playing Swator. Couple weeks ago, Spider was like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> I'm playing a video game. You can't even comprehend what that is. Probably can't even comprehend that I'm a person. So of course I'm anthropomorphizing. But I like spooders. 
really like them. I have always liked them. Even when I was a little, very tiny child, I liked this fooder. My mother would go, ooh, spider, and I'd go, oh, he's cute, he's got silly legs. <laughs> my mom's like, who is this child? <laughs> yeah, my mom wouldn't debate it with me. She'd just splat. It's gone. <laughs> mm -mm, I would cry. Or she'd get out the can of rain. And, like... I did not like them to kill the bugs in our backyard. We liked to watch them. And my dad was uh, very much like an outdoorsy nature guy, so he was like, nah, let them watch the wild kingdom in their backyard. Free entertainment. I might, so my mother's eventual given was to be like, okay, that's fine, just don't ever touch them, which seems reasonable. You probably shouldn't touch them anyway, so. Don't go picking bugs up, it's probably just not a good idea. I never met a Katie did socially yep. before. Yep. I I lived in Texas for a long time. We had Katie Dids. Oh They're boy. They're cute. I mean, they just look like a kind of a fat, really bright green grasshopper, but they're really cute. There we go. Their eyes look like they're looking at you. And I guess they're not. It's in a, it's kind of an illusion, but they look like they're moving to follow you. But I got a picture of the Katie did in my planter. Katie gone and did it. She did. I don't Katie, Katie did. did. It's not in my plant anymore though, so I don't know anything about how long they live. I don't know how, anything about why they would live in the plant one day and not the next. Katie did's are one of those species that lives for a season and then looks and then dies. They're well, then it a... should have been longer than two weeks. Why isn't it in my plant anymore? Well, I was off looking for basically another Katie to make babies with. Uh, They're basically grasshoppers. <laughs> there was a species, I'm not sure if it was the same species or not, that we used to have down in Texas. And come the middle of summer, you could not hardly walk outside without stepping on the shelves. Aww. I mean, they just banned them. They, yeah. That happens. So if they live for a season, they probably don't do a lot of molting and stuff. Bro, you may want to circle that banshee in the back there. Bugs that do a lot of molting tend to live a little bit longer because they have to put on a new suit every now and then. Bugs are weird. But I Actually, I take it back. The ones we were, I'm, the ones I'm thinking of weren't Katie Dids. They were cicadias. Do live. Oh, cicadas. They do. They live for a long time. 13 years for one kind and 17 years for the others. Well, that's how long they hibernate. They don't live long mm -hmm. once they get out. No, but the, the hibernation counts as part of their lifespan, I would assume. Because it's still a living creature. But they leave a husk. Mm -hmm. You know, when they when they come out of the ground, they from they go from pupating to whatever the end of their life cycle is. When they do we've that, got, we've they got are everywhere. a set of them in Colorado, but I think ours is. I don't remember when ours is going to happen next. I love the fact that they figured out prime numbers. <laughs> yes. One of my favorite facts about the dang thing. It's like, oh yeah. Nature's weird. Well, it's like it's the least amount of overlap. We have no common factors with the other bugs, so we don't come out at the same time they do most of the time. Yep. Pretty neat. 
I'm going to greed that. Do it. Or need it. Do it. Need it. Do it. Need it. I did need it. it. You're the jewel crafter, so you should Just need it. Do it. I spent some time on Peepity trying to earn some money. I earned about a thousand gold over the cool. course of the week just playing a little bit here and there an hour at a time or so. It's not a lot of gold, but by the time it's time for us to get our first flying mounts, I should have enough money to help people out. I've also got 2,000 on um, my hunter-gatherer. I know, and Crow says that he would help too. Yep. But, um... Jeff doesn't. Jeff and I and Corey have not had as much opportunity to play as you guys because we're playing all the other games on the planet. Uh, we so must I, play I, all I, the games. I t yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I took There's some a box weird over compulsion here. here. A spark I took some box opportunity away. to get yeah, in there. Yeah, but we're not, I think we're all done with that quest. Yeah, we don't need to do the sparkly box. We can do the post boxes if you see them. It'll take three. Uh, Crow, do you want to check all the Banshee in the back? I, I will. I need to target something first. Scrap ass how my week missed. was. It's like, I've been playing... Oh, someone dinged. It's like I've been playing a lot of uh, the regular World of Warcraft retail. Uh, because we're getting close to the um, uh, new expansion coming out. And uh, I've been having fun playing classes that I don't normally play. Or haven't played in quite a while. So that's been kind of fun. Me too. They changed Affliction, affliction Warlocks quite a bit. And uh, that's been a fun change. They still got some dots, but they've got some pretty interesting other things happening. Yeah, there's a lot too. of interesting mechanics with them. Yeah, and um, I also have a destruction warlock on the uh, horde side. And comparing the two, the destruction warlock survival rate is significantly better. <laughs> Banshee time? Uh, not yet. Okay. okay. We got to clear this little area because she's going to take over our minds, remember? Yeah. Can't take over what ain't there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I pulled her. <laughs> uh, the name of the publisher for World of Warcraft is Blizzard uh, Entertainment. And it's uh, Blizzard, B-L-I-Z-Z-A-R-D dot com. Uh, or is it net, guys? Blizzard.net. No, it's Battle.net. Well, Battle it's Battle.net, Battle but it's Blizzard.com. Battle.net. Yeah. Battle I still think it's Battle.net.com, though. Yeah, it's dot .com. You would... Uh, yep. Shekel. Assuming that they were following the rules of top-level domains, they would have been... com. Well, they probably own all three. I finished all my time runners. I I got I didn't get all the classes to 70, but I got all the ones that I wanted to 70. What I wanted was to get all the prizes. Hey, that's 33 up for me. 83 for me. I wanted to get all the mounts and all the toys and all the mogs and I did. Anyone else? And all the reputations. I I passed on it. Uh, it's a 59% for me. Okay, I'm going to need them. And change my coat. Turn coat. Huh. Yes, exactly. All right. Me, I got my split here? tails on now. Let me slurp really... down a little brownie here for a sec. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, too. Um, just know this is like one of their... Um, it's not classic games. Well, I guess they call them classics, but it's like um, 
this is similar in nature to how the game was played 10 years ago, 12 years ago, something like that. And um, you get this as part of a subscription to the current game. So uh, if you subscribe to uh, World of Warcraft uh, retail, then you get this game as for free, essentially, and you can play. There are people that just play this game and not play the retail, so it comes with a subscription. But are you that... part of the Prime, um, the Twitch uh, Prime gift? I haven't seen, there's not, there, I'm trying to think what the last Blizzard thing was that I saw on there. Um, uh, no, they're doing, they're doing a, they're doing a, a Twitch drop next week. It's for... not today, it's next week. Yeah, next oh, week. Oh, okay. I'll have to check that out because I, I we signed We have up. to watch four hours of streaming to get the prizes. So. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. I hit a button wrong. Yes, you did. Oh, did you? You did. And here I was not even paying attention. That's okay. We got her. She's going to attack you guys for a while. Yeah. Oh, well, hell. Screw that. You're going to get murdered. <laughs> you sheep me. Fortunately, I don't do much damage. Now back to the regularly scheduled program here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm supposed to be able to, uh, fine. Crow, you're going to get it now. You feared me, you twerp. Sorry, guys. Gloves are 24% update for me. 25 for me. So I'm passing on both. I'll need them. Beat you by a whopping 1%. Hey, one is one. Just dinged. Or me. No one dinged. Nor I. I think they just looked like somebody dinged. Dingling. Ding ding a ling ding ding a ling. So Scrap, if you decide that you want to try this game out um, and you want any hints, feel free to hit me up and I'll be happy to find an answer for you on whatever it is you need. Wink. Yeah, I got to look into the, um, into the drops because I'm supposed to be able to have drops for my uh, my streams as well, so. It may not tell you until the day before or something, I don't know. 
me not tell me at all. I mean, it's a setting. You just turn it on, right? And, I don't uh, know. No, no. I'm just saying it's a setting. You just turn it on. Is that is that what it is? Okay. Yeah. Did you turn it on? Yes. Mine has been flipped. Activated. But Activate um, prime Twitch drop. I've never seen anything pop up, so I don't know whether anyone's seeing anything from me or not. Well, there is. It's not active right now. Well, I know it is. That's what I'm saying. It's like I don't, I don't know whether, I don't know how to tell, because <laughs> I've never seen it appear ever. Well, we'll let you know when it's active, so you can. I'll include you in my four-hour rotation. There you go. Last time you didn't have it turned on, so I ended up watching Tomcat and Kraken uh, uh, Latte for the whole time. Just turn mine on at 4 a.m. and just let it run in on its own. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think now they change it, though. You have to, like, go in and, and uh, at least, like, collect the coins that they give you. Because you nope. get, like, tokens and stuff like that. Mm -mm. Oh, they don't? Okay. I thought they no, didn't. you just turn it on, and it's just four hours of... It has a timer, and the channels that are Warcraft... The ones that are running Warcraft, they know that. Because they would know that, I guess. And then they just, if you have your prime reward thing turned on, um, then people can watch your channel and make it part of their bar that they fill up. Yeah. And then when you log in, it basically you can refresh your screen to show what your status is if you're curious, and it'll pop up again. There's another way to do it too, but I can never find it, so I just refresh the screen. And then it just tells you so usually I spend time listening to Tomcat because he frequently will just code while he's um, listening to whatever, techno music. Yeah. And then Crack and Latte will, she just is funny. She just chats with everyone. But that's usually what I do. I wouldn't mind having another one to add into the rotation, though. I'm not super enthusiastic about the ghost horse, but I do like the owl. There. Yeah. What are you talking about? Um, Twitch. If you connect your Prime account to Twitch, then World of Warcraft and other games have sponsored rewards sometimes that you get for watching twitch streamers content while they're uh, playing so whatever you're... game it is yeah they do that for wow diablo whole ton of them oh, so. they do yeah, yeah they do it for a lot of them a lot of different ones It's never anything game-breaking. It's always just some little yeah. cosmetic. One little bit. Yeah, just some fun little reward. Yeah, sometimes Usually with packs. WoW, it's a mount or a toy or a... Might be a, might be a transmog. I think for Diablo, uh, this time it's uh, WoW transmogs. Hmm. Like there, you can... Like you can uh, dress your Diablo characters wowish. Yeah. Hmm. I haven't actually played this version of Diablo. I don't know how it is. I mean, according to the dude bros, nothing's ever better than Diablo 2. And I felt like that was probably one of the most boring things I'd ever experienced. So. <laughs> I, I think I just don't get it. I don't get it. We should probably brownie up. 
Brownies, Eat your brownies, too. man. Get the brownies. Eat your brownies, dude. Okay, my warlock's lit. Let's go. <sighs> Ready when you are. I'm just waiting for the tank. When I got my training last time um, at the Shaman Trainer, I got a Blackrock Depths quest. That's another one that's kind of long. Yeah, that was the other one on the list that we could have could have gotten into tonight. Yeah, it's nice that they started with Kata to give you the option to pick up the quests in the dungeon. I remember before when we had five man groups, we used to have to run around and pick up all the quests. <laughs> and often we would assign somebody to run around and pick up the quests and then they'd just share them with everybody once we got started when that was possible. But sometimes with like the the uh, old um uh the old dead mines quests, you had to do those in person a lot of the time. Dude. Scary. <laughs> Seriously. Scarabs. Uh, That's 64%. 122. It's not me, then. I'll let you guys fight over it. Nah, it's yours. I should probably put that on. Probably. I dinged. Somebody went ding. I ding, da da da. Yeah, that was me. I hit 50. All right. You Did it hit you back? Did it start the fight? No, nah, it was uh, too old to you do just that. Ambushed it. Huh. Started okay, applying for. Uh, 50 deserved it. Senior citizen uh, discounts. Yeah. Clunk. Oh, man, again. Crap. Dude, I can't heal you, bud. It's not letting me do it. There's not a whole lot in there. Nasty little things. Yep. Usually cockroaches don't bite, they're just annoying. Not World of Warcraft cockroaches. Do you want her shackled? Yeah, please. I need a target. So you know, there's like five other guys around that corner. was healing him. He was annoying. Hey, he was. <laughs> they heal each other sometimes. Die. In, in the butt. 
Oh, look who woke up. Yeah, weirdly shouldn't attack. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, for a change, we didn't get wiped. <laughs> <laughs> Oh look, twenty more mobs! How nice! Oh, that was Sweet. so nice of you to get get give me another mob for Christmas. So I don't, my air conditioner window unit has apparently expired. And now I don't know if I should get another window AC or if I should try a little swamp cooler, just a little in-room one. We are in a really dry climate, so it yeah, might that, work, but I've never used one, so I don't know. Swamp coolers only really work if they're outside. Really? Yeah. Um. Scrap asks how we were doing tonight, and it's like, we're actually doing pretty well. We're managing the crowds. This is yep. all about crowd control. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Trying to make sure you don't get yeah. too many to overwhelm you. Oh, we have not managed to grab that Banshee's attention. I could go down and kick her. I can get her attention. You want it? No. Go well, I mean, we got to get her eventually. She looks like she's isolated enough right now. Well, we got it anyway. We eventually got bored. Wait for us. Make a decision. <laughs> yeah, he says, "Do you want her?" And Corey goes, "No." And then, and then he like casts. And he pulls spell. her anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna oh, you might, get yeah. her, so here. <laughs> The other no. Zig, when he should have said. Well, you meant. Oh, well, you meant like the one that says no. <laughs> Mississippi no. <laughs> well, the other thing I'm considering is getting one of the little in-room ones there that you put the tube up to your window instead of the full. Yeah, we have one of those <laughs> for. Uh... Our son's room because we don't have AC. In I just our house. feel like it might be better to manage during the winter, you know, because yeah, of the because window. we have all four seasons in Colorado, sometimes all in one day. Yep, <laughs> it's just hard to get any actual air from the outside when you have a if you don't want the air conditioning, you want the outside air. It's a little hard to get the air in with a window unit, but with one of those ones, you could just put the thing in the window with the hose, you could just take that out and then have the air. Oh, where'd he come from? Uh, I, was, I have I have no, no, no access over there and it popped in somewhere. Yeah, I somewhere fried him, but it was too late. Someone else may have fried him like first. Right on my ass. Time. Yeah. All right. While Corey's drinking, I'm going to pop a top. There we go.
You guys still getting credit for grizzly trophies? Yep. You can keep them in... No, but I think I completed that, so I don't know. Yeah, Not you, every you kill. Have to, you have to pick it up again and just kind of keep it rolling between dark moons, but I don't know if you can pick it. Once you've completed it, I don't know if you can pick it again in the same dark moon. Ah, well then I didn't pick it up at all because I didn't have visited dark moon, so... Mm. I was wondering where it came from. All right, these ghouls on the left are about to. Happen. It's like the remember the quest where it's like you had to find uh, uh, certain color feathers out in uh, Thunder Bluff. Or not Thunder Bluff, but uh, uh, what's the area they flooded? I can't remember now. That would be my basement. Thousand yeah, needles. That's <laughs> Thousand needles. Yes, thank you. Aside from your basement, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Even if I have to say it myself. Well, we were all laughing. Laughing on the inside. Where it counts. Hmm. There's a group right around the corner over there, so before you yep. launch over there. Oh, Corey, uh, I think Veronica wants to come with us to Oddities this year. Sweet. I told her that that would be fine. Um, and also my nephew is, they're taking him to a, a show, an oddity show in Pennsylvania. They live in Long Island nice. or Staten Island, New York. Is it Long Island or Staten Island, Kurt? Is it Staten Island? Yeah. yeah they yep. They're state. taking him to Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania for a show. Transvalian? Transylvania? <laughs> because he got that when I gave him that little ring that I got for him. Uh -huh. there he was like this is amazing because it was amazing it was pretty cool yeah so i was like i was really surprised that my sister-in-law was like yeah i want to go see weird ta taxidermy and things in jars and i'm like okay well now i know something more about my sister-in-law <laughs> <laughs> Kurt's will all fan of uh, basic weirdos. Me, uh, will and I mean that in a good way. Yep. We don't, we're, we're, we're the people who don't mind being called weird. I will send you a message, Corey. Yes. Uh, it's you. the 28th and 29th, and I don't know which day we'll go. Okay. But I want, I'll, I'll get the tickets soon. If, if Saturday or Sunday are open to you, then Veronica will be able to go, but she can only go on one of those days, and I don't remember which one it is. So it'll just depend on how many of us are able to attend. So for those of you that don't know, the Oddities and Curiosity show is weird taxidermies and, like, things in jars and, like, morbid jewelry. Things in jars. Yeah, weird stuff. You can get some stuff that's just like, it's not super weird so much as it is just sort of old fashioned, like, well, like um, non endangered species of insect mounted the way that they used to back in the Victorian era. Mm-hmm. Yeah, radium worldy. glass. Yeah, yep. I'm like, okay. <laughs> A little Apparently, glow in the dark stuff, huh? Yeah. yeah, apparently that's supposed to be safe to handle. When Corey and I were there last year, I was like, I'm going to stand far away from the uranium glass. I don't <laughs> think I don't think I'm going to go near it, but apparently it is perfectly fine. So I don't know how it could be, but I, I don't really understand it. So. Yeah, it's a process I'd have to look into to even want to 
<laughs> yeah, I'm like, well, I'm not collecting Trust me, it. it's okay. <laughs> I can see uh -huh. it plenty well from back here. So. What, you're afraid you're going to start glowing? Well, I mean, being have, handling radioactive stuff is generally frowned upon. If that's what it actually is. But if yeah. that's what it is. If that's what it is, you can tell. I mean, radium, uranium glass is a thing. But yeah, because my thing... grandparents had uranium glass. But I why think... would you collect it now? Why would you not just leave it in a lead case in a museum? Because it's of value. It's an antique. And it's unique. But is it dangerous? It can't be that dangerous, or they wouldn't let people it collect is, it. Actually. You know? They let people collect guns. Come on. Well, that's an identity thing. That's got nothing to do with danger. Okay. We don't care about that. <laughs> I have nothing personal against guns at all, but you know, it's like well, we're not we're not gonna we're not gonna get into all that stuff. But the oh, yeah. But I don't think it's like as much radiation as um like going to get your dent your, your dentist x-rays you know what i mean like mm -hmm. i don't think it's even that much no it's, so it's probably less. safe yeah but oh well i don't know i have no idea supposedly it's safe i don't know if they encourage people to actually use them i think they're probably safe for display they're pretty thin Oh, Somebody silenced. could Google it. Yeah, how'd I get silenced? I wouldn't mind so having some of that depression era glass. That's pretty stuff. I don't understand yet how to tell the difference between what's called depression glass and carnival glass, because they're two different things. Even if they're even if the carnival glass is from the depression, it's still not called depression glass it's called carnival glass so i don't depends on whether the guy was depressed when he made it mm, i don't know okay, does so it have it. a dent in it well it's glass so no <laughs> uh, <laughs> i don't know why the my glass is dented that's different. why it's leaking it's most I'm of depressed. my <laughs> most of my useless trivia uh, antique facts have to do with porcelain so glass is sort of a closed book to me You would go crazy over the boxes in our garage. We have way too many artifacts of a bygone era. <laughs> I like the blue and white stuff. That's my favorite. Yes. That's my favorito. I yeah, think it's probably collected... the oldest, I don't know if it's the oldest porcelain, but it's the oldest, like, popular porcelain that everybody loves. Because it's, um, they first made it in the Persian Empire. That white porcelain <clears throat> with the cobalt blue paint. <clears throat> yeah, that's all the way back to the Persian Empire. Rat home holy water came out of that box. Yes, yeah, because that was from one of the quests that we did. Yeah, but nothing else came out. You know, no critters or anything. You got lucky. Yeah, yep. I, was, I was waiting for the critters. <laughs> well, I, I, figured, right I figured I finished <laughs> the quest, so it's probably not there, you know? To wait for that uh, hellfire to finish. Corey, you look kind of iced over, man. Chilled, as it were. Yeah. He froze you. Okay, so the offhand is 11% upgrade for me. 
And everything else I'm passing on. Yep, nothing for me. I'm passing, passing, passing. Okay, I will take the offhand then. In the off chance, the offhand is better. Is that just an offhand co uh, comment or what? Uh, better than an off color one. Uh. Okay, according to the glimpses I'm catching of this article that I'm reading when I'm not shooting things, um, the uranium glass, which is the stuff that they sell, as opposed to radium glass, is um, got lower background, lower radiation than background. So it is radioactive, but less than background. So. So it's it's safe. Yeah. It's not really my thing to collect, but I can see why people would want to collect it. If you like weird, glowy stuff. Keep you up you. at night. It doesn't glow like that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it fluoresces, actually. You have to shine dark light on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they um, they do that in the cabinet when they at the show. They put it in a black lined cab cabinet with black lights lighting the inside of the cabinet so you can so you can see it. Glowy. <laughs> Radio glass, really? No, no. <laughs> I think is interesting is that from a statistical point of view, there is never a time in your life, you know, there's no uh, any sample of any size that you pick up is going to contain at least a little bit of every element. Even if it's only like one atom. Mm -hmm. From a statistical point of view. Yeah. What else do they have at that show, Corey? They have... Taxidermy. Weird yeah. paintings. Weird paintings. Weird paintings, yeah. Remember the one we got, for, or you got for um, Devin? Yes. I won't take credit for it because all I said was, yeah, he'll like that. He did like it. He was like, I really like He considered buying the original, but it was a little bit too too much. Pricey. It was a little more than he wanted to pay that day. So he was like, he's like, I'm not saying the painting's not worth the money. I'm sure it is. I just kind of don't feel like I have that to spend today. And yeah, if you think price. about the time of year it is, when the show comes to town, the kids were just getting ready to get back into school. So there's a huge amount of expenses with children starting the school year. So I imagine they were just like, no, not right now. But I got a print of the painting and I framed it and gave it to him for Christmas. Hey, Jeff, there's another box over here for you. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I'll take that under advisement. <laughs> oh, and people watching, because all the weirdos yeah. are there. All the all the goths and the and the the whatevers, whatever people are calling themselves now, they're all there. Punks and the goths and the moths and the the whatevers. Yeah. So you get to see all the cool outfits. The gothlets. The gothlets and the little and cool tattoos and cool hairdos and people with weird piercings in strange places. Uh, oh yeah, they have open. a show of people hanging from their weird piercings in strange places. And oh stuff. yeah, there we go. That's not that's not my thing, so we don't. I didn't watch. I don't. I think we were like. I think Corey was like, not nah, not for me, and I was like, nah, me neither. <laughs> so we we didn't go see that part, but. I, 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 uh, what was that movie, uh, about the white man that went into the Indian tribe? Uh, oh, they, yes. Yes. Um, they inducted him in that way, and I was just like, uh, no. <laughs> yes. Yep. Exactly. I know what movie it is, too. Little, uh, little, um, God, what's it called? Yeah, I can't remember. Dustin Hoffman? Little right? Big Man. Yeah. Little, little Big, big man, man, yes. Yes. That's it. 
Yep, that scene affected me exactly the same way. I was like, I, I can't watch this. <laughs> Now, now Jeff's gonna have to dig around for a little big man reference. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's okay. Video. I mean, that was a good book. I never read the book. I, I actually know never saw the movie. No. Oh man, Jeff Dan oh. George in there, man, that was great. They he they showed it to good. us in in fifth grade, fifth grade, something like that. And I was yeah, just like, I, yeah, yeah. Or, Faye Dunaway, <laughs> I will avert my eyes at the proper moment. <laughs> I uh, like that that uh, Chief Dan George, he was in uh, the Outlaw Josie Wales, too. Oh, yeah. Which is, I think, one of my, that's one of my top five favorite westerns. Did and, Corey uh, ding? I did. Cool. And, uh. There's a... <laughs> There's a uh, relic. relic for you, for the shaman. Yep, I'm looting. I graded it. I don't know if anybody else uses relics. Does anybody else use relics except for shamans? No, I don't. Oh. Cool. I think Pally's can on. on different stuff, but... Huh. I'll put it in Maybe my... Maybe it's uh... not a relic that they can use. It's something else. Yeah, I got it. Well, apparently, at some time, at some point, I picked up a book of the Paragon. I don't know when I when I did that, but yeah, hmm. that is that is a relic. Well, I will throw it on my off spec because it's an agility stam thing. But um, that Chief Dan George and the Outlaw Josie Wales, my favorite thing that he does is he holds up this little piece of candy. He's like, "I got me a piece of rock candy." <laughs> it's a little red rock candy, and he's like, "But it isn't for eating; it's just for looking through." <laughs> <laughs> just fantastic. And I had read somewhere that he ad libbed that, so super cool. I've been having a hankering to watch Tombstone again. That was a good series. Oh, you're saying series. Tombstone, the movie. Yeah. yeah, you're thinking Deadwood. Yes, I was thinking of Deadwood. You're correct. That's a I good like series. Deadwood. I like, well, I was like, there was a team, there was a Tombstone series. What? No. <laughs> well, actually, there was back in the '60s. Was there? But yeah, it's there was... not. Is it the same story no. content? Oh. No, it's it's kind of one of those yeah. things where they are well, just... Well, they got... It was interesting because my dad and I nerded out over it. They actually did... Not everything in it is correct, but they did a pretty decent job with a lot of it. Um, I always think it's funny because nobody can resist having the gunfight in the OK Corral because... But it was actually just near the OK Corral. It was in the alley behind yep. <laughs> the corral. Um, but they the did. Alley's boring, seem you know. To, they, yeah, but they in the movie they had it bleed out into the alley at least. So. No, oh, they went everywhere in the movie. It's like. Yeah, they went all over. That the fight place. went. Over, yeah, it was all over the place. Yeah, I mean, a fight in real life was not that long. No. Huh. Nor was it in slow motion. Nope. Or yeah, real fights fights are not deadly, as, so. I mean, it's one of the things that people get uh, that I think Hollywood has completely destroyed is the sense of how violent violence is. Yeah. I did a, when I was in college, I did a paper on um, gunshot wounds in the Old West and their treatment. Um, cause it was or a history pa of. paper. No, yeah. there was, uh, there was treatment. No, they were doing good at that time. There was, um, they were using, um, uh, at that time you're talking about people that have anesthetic and, uh, one of the most important figures was a guy, <laughs> you remember Dr. Lister? Lister, yeah, His, I was going to go there. He made? Well, the... the, uh, doctor in, there was a doctor in Deadwood that was really devoted to Lister's practices 
and he used to sanitize his surgical surfaces and he basically with gunshot wounds to the gut he had a more than 50 percent survival rate with his sanitization high. methods which in that time was amazing um like that's up I've from heard. that's up from like less than 10 percent survival without uh so but Weird. he was a really interesting oh. guy and he invented the prostate surgery oh Weirdly. bummer Weird no, enough. that's good. <laughs> that's good. His men used to die from that. I was going to say, weirdly enough, one of the things that contributed mm. to fewer people dying of gut wounds was the up was an improvement in in arms. Because, mm. and it would had it had to do with the fact that the, uh, the holes were smaller. Well, the bullets Truth. are are moving slower. I mean, they're still moving way too fast to see. But when you're when, you, when you're looking at a pistol ball, as opposed to a musket ball, yes, uh, the gut has the the, fl the squishy bits have way, have time to get out of the way, and so what you'll have is a through and through that doesn't necessarily puncture the actual abdomen. Uh, it's puncture the it gut, puncture the intestine. It doesn't flatten out the same way that the musket ball does, right? Yeah. Or whatever, whatever and it so, is. So yeah. mushrooms. But anyway, that was super interesting to learn that to the prostate surgery was invented by the doctor in Deadwood. And whose fault is that? We're fine. Just don't let the slime get on my hoof, please. Don't want slime on my hoof. Yeah, because unlike in D&D, there's no personal visitation anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Pop. Brett. Excellent. Wow, I actually might have. I do I have a new talent point. What am I going to do? Oh, wait. <laughs> Don't do it now. You're going to wait until the fight's over. I've got a new one as well. I need to figure out where to yeah, put I it. Yeah, I need to. I don't have one. That's a bummer. I don't know why. You really want the poison me? Never mm -hmm. procs until they die. That's annoying. <laughs> That's why it procs. Oh, here oh. comes Bubba. He wants to welcome us. He wants to play industrial music for us. He wants to move to Germany. That's right, a little... Du... Du hast... Du hast nicht. Du hast nicht. Hang out the, at the airport. Or I should say airfield, right? Ramstein Airfield. Whoop, Alrighty, what do we got here? A bow I can't use and a shield I can't use. Excellent. Nice. Yay. Here come Perfect. the dudes, the little dudes. Skellingtons. Skellies. Need some beef broth out of them. 
Uh-huh. You made some human broth out of them. Hey, here's some other guys. If they... So the building they came out of, if they became broth, must have been a brothel. Oh, yes. God. <laughs> Just don't call them stew. That's Stuart to you. Yeah, that's right. Why are you self-exploding instead of rain of fire? Does better damage. Okay. Just asking. Because I have to heal you. <laughs> well, yeah, that's because right, I'm getting let's... hit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's go. We still got to go in the room. Yeah. We do. We have to go kill the guy on out. the horse. Right, in order to Ready up. open up the uh, the gate, right? Slaughterhouse. I'm waiting for the tank. Hey, I'm waiting, waiting to see if the healer wants to brownie up. <laughs> brownie in a minute. Brownie in motion. <laughs> mm. Music of the spheres. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, come on. Get in. This time, wait, wait, wait! Don't get in there without me. Well, you yeah, were. that was <laughs> me last, last time. time that didn't make it. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't start the that. fight right away. There we go. They went somewhere else. You. What do you guys want? Get away from me. <laughs> that door. Fifty-six percent for me on the wand. Oh, so go ahead. <laughs> it's just telling me plus eight item levels. It's plus sixteen levels for me. Yeah, you can have it. I'm a no, I'm used by the fact that so I'm gonna grab it. Grab it, grab it. We can just teleport the heck out of here. Yeah. And... See what do we got from the bag? All right. Racers. Racers. Yay. Racers that'll work, actually. Cool. So teleport out, guys? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I also have bracers of maximum. Uh, you function. should leave the instance group this time because we we want to go to a different instance. So. Okie dokie. If we go again. Leave instance group and there we go. You only don't leave the instance group if you want to stay in the same dungeon. All right, I'm going to sell some junk and I'll be ready to go in just a sec.
I don't think we have enough time to get through anything significant anyway right now. So. All right. Well, I'm going to. We've only um, got 40 minutes left. I think what I, I will do. Disconnected. What I'm no, I, just, I, I logged out and logged in with a, with an alt if I'm going to be doing other stuff. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get my alt and uh, yeah, okay, do stuff that way. Stuff. Because this is the one that does not have any glyphs, and I was going to see if what, what was available. It's a druid, so I, that might be the problem. All right, so I'm going to go, go park this guy. check on my auctions and see if we made any money for us. Make some money. Money, money. I'm going to park this guy in the, in the inn, and then... Oh, no, I didn't want that. There we go. I'm going to log out and jump on Ramsey. Ramsey. What? Who's still hanging out in the Cape of Wranglethorn. I'm over in Gazatan. Okay. Let's see. Moonfire Glyph. I don't... Ah, uh, Decursive. New version has been detected. Okay, go to Wow Waves to get it. Alright, thanks. Hmm. Okay, who's our Glyph Maker? I have a level 80 priest that I did some glyph leveling. And Corey's okay. doing it. But I don't know how much work he's been able to put in on it, and I, I haven't even looked at it for a few weeks. Not since Panda Remix came out. <laughs> yeah. So, months. If anyone can make me the glyph of bloodletting. <laughs> you should go to Wowhead and see which ones you need. Ah. Uh. Okay, there's a... So I have... I guess I just need to go pick up every single quest in uh, Stranglethorn now. Because <laughs> it glyphs... The way that it works is... You discover new glyph recipes by making glyphs. So there's a good chance that neither Corey or I have the one that you need. But it's a good thing to go to Wowhead and just kind of check and see which ones you need anyway. For a, for a druid, you said? Yeah. And which one? Uh, well, let's see. The one that Wowhead suggests is the glyph of rip. Or or are the you glyph of shred. Kitty cat. Those are major glyphs. I'm looking for the prime glyphs. Are you yeah, a so as, far as, prime, as, as far as prime glyphs goes, yeah. Mangle or bloodletting. Yeah, I don't have any of, either, any of those. Or rip. Nope. You might uh, have to just not high enough. see if the auction house has any. They're not cheap my, on the auction house all the time. My my priest wouldn't have been able to... If she didn't put them in the bank, then she couldn't make them. Because she, she put a, one of everything she could make at least in the bank. Go we'll talk to Beardo here. Okay, if I type in glyph, there are no video selling glyphs. There's at all. a thing on the auction house. There's a there's a category you can click on for glyphs. On then and then it'll it, uh, open up a hamburger menu that will you can click on druid and it'll only show the ones for your druid. No items found. Well, take the word glyph out of the search engine. There's nothing Just in the search use... engine at the moment. Okay. Well, there might not be any in there. 
I'm not near. I can't. I can't look. Avert your eyes. Don't look. Well, apparently there are no glyphs at all, which strikes me as being odd. There's a whole tab for glyphs in the auction house. That's what I'm looking at. There's none for your spec, though. And no, there's none at all. That can't at all. be right. I'm not finding... Okay, apparently my auction thing is broken because it wasn't showing me anything. Huh. I'm in the I'm in the browse hmm. section and it's like no weapons, no armor, no nothing. There's a something something was clicked or something is doing doing that because I, I had that same problem. You might want to log out and log back in, see if that helps. Clear that. Doing it? Oh, did you click on the... the... the glyph title and then click search? I've done what I have missed something that obvious. Don't answer that question. Yeah. Yeah, I did that and it said no items found. Okay. Go to weapons and click weapons and no items. Oh, there, there are weapons found. I'm deeply suspicious of how few things there are on here. Yeah. You might want to log out and back in again. Are you using a mod, by the way, like Auctionator? <clears throat> Kurt. He says it needs. To, I said yes. You, oh, I didn't hear you. Uh, you yeah. might want to go to the scan tab and make sure you have a current scan of the auction house. Well, I just also had to update it just now, so. Ah. Yeah, that could be it, too. I wish Auctioneer worked, but it doesn't. I think they've just stopped playing and they're not updating it anymore. That was the best one. Yeah. It was better than all the rest by a long shot. Yeah, there's there's a few one quests. other that works similarly to the way the auctioneer did, but you have to download it's a whole thing. You've got to get like a desktop program and it's a Ew. massive pain in the ass. It's terrible. I don't want anything to do with it. There's a lot of uh, add-ons for retail that haven't uh, haven't caught up yet either. Yep, kind of I have a feeling a lot of them are just waiting until after the regular launch. So they don't want to mess with the pre-patch. Is my guess. Where's the scan tab? It's on. If you're using auction auctionator. Yeah. This, if you go to the tab on the far right. It says auctionator, and then you hit scan, scan. over right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you just wait for that to finish. Full you do processing that about... 66 items. Well, that can't be right, so there has to be something going on on the server. Anybody else having trouble with the auction house? No, I, mine was just working fine. Yeah, I don't have any add-ons for it, though, so... Yeah, I wasn't doing any add-ons. I've got the auctioneer, so... That was working for me. I did a scan and all that good stuff, so... I may have lied. I may have a... Let's see, what, what do I have on there for add-ons? 
I, I use have auctioneer. auctioneer. I have auctioneer. Oh. And it seems to be working fine. I wonder why they're not updating it for retail. Maybe it's just not... Maybe it's easier to just update the stuff for the older games. Yeah, I was using it a little bit and I couldn't get it to function properly, so I just let it go. Switch to the other one. I think they, they made enough uh, changes to the auction house. I think that maybe they decided that it wasn't worth trying to update their uh, add-on. Could be, but I still use an add-on. I, I feel like the auction house still isn't quite good enough to go without an add-on. I did try to run without it for a while and it just wasn't just not satisfactory. Hmm. these rooms where you can't find what you're looking for. It's like, ah, uh, where are you guys hiding? There he is. Keep your nose clean in my town. I think, wait a minute, let me try something. This is dumb, but I'm going to try it. Now that I tell you, I got I got my um, Deathwing perk today. What? Is, what do you mean? Well, there's a. a yeah, uh, what do you call it? A, an achievement you get for getting killed by Deathwing. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I logged into my you character, and the town I was in was on fire. So you I logged in and died. Yes. <laughs> it was like, I logged in and died, and it was like, I feel betrayed. Okay, I think I figured out what the problem might have been. I was on a neutral auction house. Oh, you were at Booty Bay? No, I was yeah. at Gadgetan. Yeah, oh, those, those will carry all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. they carry. Very That's little, how we see. used to get gold from one faction to the other. We had <laughs> characters on both factions. That was the way. I don't think people really use them anymore in retail because you can now send gold to all of your characters. Regardless of faction. And server. I think you can send anything to anybody on your server. On any server now. I'll have to try or it that. might just be you have to throw stuff in the Warband Bank, which is working, by the way. And it works really good. Yes, it does. I like it. Except you have to have enough gold to be able to buy tabs. I've got three tabs already. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I got two, and I have enough for a third, but I'm waiting for um, equipment to like cost me an armor and leg. So. Yep. Huh. I can buy that one, I guess.
You have to be a level 54 to use it. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Details. Details, shmeetails. Okay, well, when I do this, I do. Do I need to go down, down, and around? Down, down the Goblin Town. Yeah, they want me to go all the way down the round, the bottom of Stranglethorn. It's like, oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, not just that. They want me to go over to the other islands. <laughs> okay, now I remember. Guess I'll go over there. Oh, uh, you're after those bracers? Um, I don't know. What are they asking me to get? I have to kill Bloodsail Sea Dog. Oh. Uh, Elder Magus. Yeah. Okay. Char you're around pick the up corner. Charts, yeah. Pick up orders. Yeah. Yeah. I just did that on my little pally. Your baby pally. Yeah. So I'm taking a break from him and I'm playing around out here in Hellfire. I figured if I'm going to get my um, my tune leveled up, I better do it. <laughs> She's, she's going to be useful for uh, doing any blacksmithing at all. Mm. That ability isn't ready. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out why I decided to do tailoring on this tune. <laughs> Yeah, tailoring's a pain in the ass. Yeah. Especially I mean, when you want to try and get your uh, uh, first aid up at the same time. It's too far away. I can't do that yet. Not ready yet. I like this. You don't get credit for killing these guys, but you got to kill them in order to get through everything. Yeah. It's like, oh. That sucks. Yar. hitting on me oh these guys okay oh. <laughs> they know you're married <laughs> they had no idea <laughs>
<laughs> You're not gargling it right. No. I can't do that. I can't do that. I need to get closer. That ability isn't ready yet. I can't do that yet. I supposedly there's something like right here. But it's not here. So it must be downstairs, right? Even more downstairs than I already am. Get down, get funky. Get back but up again. You, but how do you get further downstairs? I don't see another set of stairs. That set goes upstairs. Are they back here? Oh, yes, they are. Okay. Along with Long John Copper. As opposed to Long John Silver. Okay. Clever. That ability isn't ready yet. Alright. Better eat something here. Get something first. There we go. I'm still looking for the thing that I need to pick up. Oh, it's in the barrel. Grog barrel. No, that's not it. That's apparently not the thing I need to pick up. That's interesting. Oh, are you trying to do, you know, spoil the gunpowder and the grog and all that stuff? No, actually, I'm I'm trying to do uh, details of the attack. Hmm. Which is the quest. Oh, they're so. just laying out. You gotta, yeah, it took me a while to find those. They're in the camps, you just gotta... Okay, I need to go back upstairs, because there's... I've killed everything on this ship. There's nothing left to kill. <laughs> what are you, the plague? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And one lonely sailor has uh, rezzed, so he gets my wrath. <gasps> All right, so that was useless. Yeah, I got to collect one chart and one order, but I haven't seen anything. So and then I killed all, all the stuff that's supposed to be Well, there wasn't anything to kill on the one island. <laughs> there was only one one of each of the eight that I have to kill. It's like, really? I gotta kill more of these guys? You're kidding. And there's like four people out here doing the same quest. So. Yeah. Uh, That's when it's Get out of game. my adventure! This is my world!
Harry No Hooks. I like the names they have for the pirates. <laughs> Ability isn't ready yet. It's too far away. Uh, Squawky Jr. There's a... That ability isn't ready. A semi-attacking... Um, parrot out here. That ability isn't ready yet. I need to get closer. Oh, you know... You know what I... I, Not ready yet. I thought was kind of cool when I was down there questing around on my pally. I'm, yeah. I... One of those... Uh, hyacinth parrots. Dropped. Oh so, yeah. So now I'm hoping to see if I can get some uh, coinage out of the uh, auction house on that, because those are nice. supposed to be kind of hard to find. Well, you were lucky. Yeah, exactly. That's what it's all about, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what it takes. But I guess I'm not the only lucky one because I went on the auction house and there were three others for sale. Yeah. They might have increased the uh... drop rate. Yeah. Yeah. Not ready yet. Well, we'll see what happens. I'm still trying to figure out where the guys are that you're supposed to kill. Because I'm killing a bunch of stuff here, but none of these guys are counting towards the quest. Oh, they're piling it on now. And I died. That's ah. not good. I ended up with five guys jumped me, and it's like, oops. Wow. Yeah, and mean... they put you all the way back on the mainland when you when you die. It's like, okay, I gotta go all the way around the bottom of the cape to get out to where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. Uh, your corpse is 850 yards, but you can't get over the hill. <laughs> and you can't go over the uh, 
over to the town, so your corpse is now 1,100 yards away. <laughs> yeah. What happened? I'm getting farther away from my corpse. Over the river and through the woods, man. Over the river and through the woods. To grandmother's corpse we go. I now see an area where I'm supposed to be hitting stuff instead of on the ships. Yeah. Well, at least you don't have to go back in the ship to res. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> all right looks like the other guys that were questing have left so that means that uh i have a chance you have a actually... chance yeah. yeah finishing the quest or at least progressing Okay, no more sea dogs over here. So I was using the Radiant Echoes to level a couple of my characters. They were pretty low level when I started. Yeah. Dying was a very common thing. Uh. I got really annoyed with the fact that um, in Northrend, if you die, they don't give you a mount to ride back to your, um, your body with. Really? And literally, you have to run. The entire way. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was real pain. I have been sitting here talking and I had my microphone on mute. Yeah, oh, well, we haven't heard anything. <laughs> not a peep, not a peep. Oh. No. That explains I it. I don't know how far back it goes. Well, I haven't heard from me in 10 minutes or so, at least. Yeah. Been a bit. I went and got some cereal, and I put the microphone on mute when I went to get cereal so that if the dogs went crazy, it wouldn't drown everybody out. <clears throat> I'm out of range. Well, I don't think your, your mic is not picking that stuff up. Yeah, it does. It will. <laughs> it will if they get going. It doesn't pick up most stuff, like it, it won't pick up them barking a little bit if they're not, if they're quiet. But if they start howling, you'll hear it. Howlerating. Howlerating. We're not going to get them started right now because it's too late at night. <laughs> That's what happens. Well, we don't want our neighbors to murder us in our sleep. Yep. Pretty much that. <laughs> Okay, now I've got to find mages, because I'm only halfway through the mages. There's not enough mages. So I was saying I'm going to log on to retail and finish up my 
echoes for the day. So I can have access to that res after reset. <clears throat> What sale orders are supposed... Oh, there they are. Look at the shiny stuff that's shining on the top of the box. Dag. Huh. With the sparkles and everything. Yeah. Look, look it's glittering. <laughs> I wonder if that means anything. I've never seen anything so beautiful. <laughs> I don't have a target. <laughs> okay, I need three more mages. Three more matches, and uh, matches with Johnny no stinking matches. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna need, I need three more stinking matches. That's not a mage, that's a magus. An elderly magus. Blood sale elder magus. I'm going to do some elder abuse here. There we go. There you go. These are all Only the finest kind, though, right? Hector says that you guys are all lucky he doesn't have thumbs, because he would completely pwn you in this game. No doubt. He does have those Chihuahuan reflexes. Yep. So I gotta hang Although out sometimes he shakes like he swallowed bees, so that might presumably get in the way of your performance, I would think. Are you full of bees? No, I'm just cold. Are you so cold? I'm, gonna go over God, here I'm running into something. that same thing you hit, Jeff, where I'm trying to do this quest line, and there's like five other people just running around doing the same thing. Yeah. Hi, Odie. Hello. Yes, you're a good boy. Oh my goodness, it's so nice to see you. <laughs> oh my dog, he's here. So the doctor said the muscle definition in his face should come back after a while, but it's going to take a while. Was he got saggy face? Oh, he's no, got a skeletal he's... face. Yeah, the oh. prednisone has caused some muscle atrophy in huh. his face. So he's got... He's well, like... a good thing it's not female. You can say it's resting bitch face. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I know. I see you. You're still cute. You're just, you've got a little bony face. That's all. He's still got, he's, still, he's a very, got a, he's still got a very expressive face, though, so. Yeah, he's so super cute. He just he's got very high, high cheekbones, very prominent cheekbones right now. Huh. He's, he's got that heroin look. <laughs> You're like a supermodel, you know. You're a supermodel dog. Play techno music and let him walk up and down the hallway. <laughs> All right, where's this other item? So the orders I need are to target something first over there somewhere. Really. I don't see no stinking orders. Hey, Kurt, can you come and take this little Odie pickle out to go potty? Yeah, sure. Let me park myself someplace where I'm not going to die. Okay. I use the same discussion. <laughs> it's like, uh, wifey, I, I got to wait. I got to, I might die. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm right <laughs> in the middle of something. <laughs> Oh, we're ah. used to it. We're used to it. We do that kind of thing all the time. Okay, here we are. 
<clears throat> well, e even she's got to the point now where she understands and she goes, Oh, are you going to die? And it's like, no, not now. I'm fine. <laughs> I Someday, honey, but board. not right now. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a good boy. I'm the one. He does, and he needs a snacker. And the whatever is all, too. If you will bring me the benef a benefit and the uh, Leonarcazal bottle, I'll give them a snacker. Oh, oh, Grumpy, listen here. Listen here, Grumpy. He says. All right, now I just need to find grumpy out where guy. where the uh, orders are. Oh gosh! I picked up the chart. Can't find the orders. If I remember, when I did that, there were two of them that were close together. Which well, that's why I'm, I'm going back and looking. Yeah. And I figured that it might be like inside the tent or something. No, they were they were both outside, but they were like on boxes right next to each other. Yeah, I see one, and it's not lit up. That was the one that was sparkling before, mm -hmm. and now I don't see any others. And there's mm -hmm. no other box. Well, there's a couple boxes over here, but uh, nothing on top of them. Oh, everything's starting to res. Yeah. Oh, look at it this way. It's More points XP. for you. It's all XP. That's right. Okay, I'm looking at all the boxes and all the barrels and all the gin joints. <laughs> Why did it have to be this one? <laughs> yeah, really, exactly. All the gin joints. I am not seeing squat, so I'm going to mm. sell stuff here. Maybe. Can I sell some stuff? Take that. Take that too. And that. And that. And that mage decides to hit me. Fine. Okay, nothing on the table. I don't see any more sparkly stuff around. Huh. Nothing in the tent. For all intents and purposes. <laughs> Is everybody in tents? Yes, we're all in tents. My little dog is in tents. He wants a snacker. He says, give me my snack. Okay, according to this, oh, it should be on this oh. table that I'm standing on. But I'm hovering over everything on the table and there's nothing there. So go figure. And this guy, Cowardly Crosby, he doesn't have it. See you later. He's just a tailor. Hmm. Interesting. He's just a Swifty. I'm sure it's like right underneath Right under, right under my nose, and I'm looking right at it, and I don't see it. I hate it when that happens. That's what my wife said. That's when I start looking it up on the internet.
Yeah, I suppose I could go park him someplace and then go look at the internet. <laughs> I'm going to have to do that because this is driving me nuts. That's All right, not good. Ramsey, let's see. What do you think? What is... What's the name of this quest? Details of the attack. I, I put in details of the attack and it comes back with Pearl Harbor. No. I usually put wow in front of my, my search. Yeah, yeah. I put it behind it. <laughs> <laughs> all right where is it comments found the orders on a different crate in a different camp don't get stuck looking in one place for this person they were on the ground in a different camp hmm. this is they found them in a little rowboat different person uh you cannot complete it on Pirate's Day. Blood sale NPCs needed to be killed, and that's not available. Oh, good to know. <laughs> All right, so maybe there's a rowboat out here? Because I sure didn't see anything laying on the ground. And it could be there's another camp back up the way. So let's... Uh, I'm going to go back that direction and see if... Oh, there's a rowboat. Is it in the rowboat? It is not in the rowboat. Well, now I am giving my doggies their evening snacker, and they are so happy. Well, who wouldn't be? They always get a little tiny snack before they go to bed. They're like, this is the best. This is the best. Everything is the best, though. That's what's fun about dogs, yeah. is that everything is always the best day ever. Or the worst thing ever. All if right. they go to the, the bed, order... they're like, this is the worst thing. The orders were inside, just inside the tent, uh, tent in the next camp down. <laughs> You found it, though. Yay. I did, yes, but I had to cheat. Kurt and I decided that dogs are actually happiness engines. They just yeah. walk around generating happiness constantly. Hector, well, actually, if you look really closely, you can see the little hearts just floating out of his head all yeah. the time. Wifey has decided she wants a dog, but not until... Uh, not until... We are catless. Mostly because our oldest cat, uh, Buzz, he would not, he wouldn't survive. He'd be too, too nervous and freaked out. Hmm. He's yeah, nervous and freaked out. combination. My last set of dogs before this one, we had a little, um, uh, we had a little Boston Terrier. Mm hmm He, uh, you remember him. He, um, he loved dog, or cats, and we had a cat that loved dogs. Made in heaven. That's a good combo. Yep, I mean, he did like him with barbecue sauce, but. No. Well, a little seasoning <laughs> always helps. That is not what happened. Hurt wasn't there. <laughs> Wait a second, do I have... Yes, I do have another one to turn in. Oh, I got a cute name on my uh, mechanome. Bell uh -oh. widget. Bell Somebody's widget? Head. 
Yeah, her name is Felt Widget. And they said, cute name! <laughs> I said, thank you. Mm. I'm gonna have to finish this Echoes thing and then turn this game off because my hands are not cooperating. They are hurting. That's not good. Nope. Yeah, not good. Alright. Details my of the skin attack. On fire. That's good. Everything that is coming here, everything that I'm getting as rewards are all, um, they're all for prot. A prot warrior. Oh. <laughs> you know, like I was I was doing that I was doing that on my uh, uh pally and uh I'm running a ret pally and everything I was getting was either holy or pro uh protection, you know. So yeah. I was like, damn. Come on guys. Give show me some love. <laughs> Alright, I got a new talent. Yay. Let's see what I got. Two talent points I haven't spent. I should probably figure that out, huh? Okay, cheating time again. Cheating time again. Let's see. It's not cheating, you're optimizing. Yes. Cataclassic, go to talent trees. Oh man, I hate this site. <sighs> <laughs> You know, the one I like for uh, um, doing uh, uh, talent trees and stuff is Icy Veins. Well, that's what I'm talking about. I've got Icy Veins on right now. and uh, You don't like and, it, huh? Well, no. It has ads. And when the oh. ads pop, they literally push everything that you're looking at down. And then you can't access it any longer. Wow. It's like, okay, fine. <laughs> That's kind of interesting because I don't get ads. Well, I get ads off to the side, you know, but I can ignore those. Yeah, this is this is Amazon. You cannot ignore Amazon. They, oh. They stick it right up at the top of the page. And, and oh. when it pops, it drives everything else down the page. So you're yeah. in the middle of clicking on something, and all of a sudden what you're clicking on is an, ad, an ad for Amazon. <laughs> Gee, I wonder if they planned that. Yeah, I think... <laughs> that was pretty funny though alright so um, Ramsey got the 37 woohoo and I think this is a good time for us to say good night uh, farewell our Alveder Zane and all that stuff if I don't see you before the next time I see you have a good day have a good afternoon have a wonderful evening thanks for joining me hope to see you soon love you all bye now <laughs>